Hello and welcome to River Horses unboxing of the Dark Crystal Adventure Game. We've just got the uh, the first copy of the printing press sent to us early so that we can excitedly pour over it uh, with you on this video. With a little less shaky camera than the one I did the other day. Yeah, hopefully this camera is completely shake proof. <laughs> as proven by my wobbly well, shakes table. with the table, I guess. Yeah. Um, so. We have the Dark Crystal Adventure game. Uh, this uh, arrived shrink wrapped, all sort of. Um... It did. I couldn't wait, so I tore the shrink wrap off. Yeah, uh, we've already sort of opened it up, had a look through, um, and we've got the uh, the back there with uh, all of the stuff that you get inside. That looks like so much stuff, Jack. How do we fit it all in one book? <laughs> Using magic. <laughs> um, yeah, good riff. Uh, so, Vliaya. 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 Yeah. Um, so, uh, we've, we sort of took the, uh, the dust jacket from the, uh, the labyrinth and zhuzhed it up even further, uh, adding in this, uh, this full colour map on the back, so that we'll, we'll get to the book in a sec. Um, so full colour map on the back of Thra, this is the, uh, the lands in which the adventure takes place. Um, and as far as I'm aware, this is the most comprehensive map of Thra ever made. <laughs> yeah, there are uh, various <laughs> canon maps of Thra, and this is the best one. Um, so you've got a little uh, region reference with page numbers, locations of interest, some fun little... Uh, so the map is like, it's important, like, the reason we thought it was so important to get the map on, like, a full full spread like this was because the map is, as you can probably catch a glimpse of by the reference down the side of the dust cover, the map is like super important to the adventure. It's how your party are going to plot their way to resolving the various crises in Thra, um, in Scarith. Scarith is the land, Thra is the planet. Yes. Um, so yeah, uh, this will be available online as well for download and printing off. Uh, even bigger if, uh, if that's what you wish to do. Um, but the book itself. Da, 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 da. So we've got this thermal embossed cover, uh, which is lovely to touch. What dark runes are these? And on the back, you've got an even larger sort of uh, design. That is the uh, the calendar, the Erskek calendar. Yeah, and you've got like, is this the conjunction through here? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's all um, embossed, so that's sort of, uh, you can feel that. It's very tactile, I'm a big fan. Uh, another map is the end pages. And what should we show off next? We've got uh, sort of the, uh, the game section of the book where you learn to make your character. Um, yeah, and so the, the rule system is kind of a, um, it's, it, it draws on the labyrinth one, which was very basic and sort of starter friendly, but it adds crunch and combat and exploration and RPG elements that the labyrinth, because it's a very different type of story, sort of didn't focus on. Um, which I yeah. think is so this is a world in which you can get injured, you can die, uh, you can also sort of gain skills and become... Return to Thra. Return to Thra, yes. Yeah. Um, when you die. And it, yeah, it's a it's a world with a bit more sort of edge to it than uh, than Labyrinth has. So uh, the rules are um, similarly. Oh, this is a more edge. This is the Mystics and Skeksis page. Now this isn't. I couldn't fit all of the Mystics and Skeksis in the book, but boy, howdy, did I fit a lot of them in. <laughs> so like this page just is a very brief two line overview of every uh, every Skeksis and, and their corresponding Mystic. So they're aligned. So as you can see the Emperor and uh, the master are uh, sort of on a line. So you can, when you look up a Skeksi, you can instantly just flick over to see the reference for what their corresponding uh, mystic is. So here we have the, um, uh, the, first, the first page of the book, uh, the first sort of page of the adventure even, beginnings. This is where uh, your girlfriend party will have um, sort of their quest imparted on them by the, uh, by the master. Uh, they will have to explore Thra, collecting seven seeds from the seven great trees uh, in order to save it. Um, so that's sort of, it's a bit of an excuse for them to explore this world 
and uh, explore the various regions therein. And then we've got um, some awesome prepare yourselves pages. So we've got places like the Mondo Lavidian, which is too large to fit on uh, two pages, uh, so it requires a full sort of three-page spread. And then you've got your sort of before before you're eaten by him, after you're eaten by him. Yeah. So he's a uh... He's from the uh, one of the Dark Crystal comics. He's this giant fish who has mutated boblings living inside him. They're podlings, but they're part crab. And um, its immune system is made up of kind of arathim that live inside his guts and stuff. Um, and he basically swallows ships whole and then sailors get trapped inside. And there's a little uh, dungeon in a fish, which is a, some classic Pinocchio work there. <laughs> I wish I'd said uh, Pinocchio. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. Um, so basically, uh, the way that the game sort of works is there's these locate uh, region scenes. So this is Ramip's spine. It's a mountain range in the center of Thra, and then within those scenes are sort of uh, so that's sort of like travel, what you might encounter, what if you're going through these lands, and then in that place you have sort of more specific location like the scientists' retreat. It's uh, kind of fractal. Trying. So you've, you've got the, the big overmap which on which you'll plan your journey and then you'll travel through regions which sort of have their own page in the book um, and the region page gives you an overview of the region, the random encounters you might find there, the challenges, the people, that sort of thing, but also the locations. And then if you go to one of those locations, it zooms in even further. So you do get this kind of... Um, it's broad strokes, but it is thra, corner to corner. Um, your players will be able to explore... Almost everything that is mentioned in, and then of in course, a book or a comic or a movie or a TV series. Um, yeah, we went super deep on the on the law side of things. So the other uh, celebrity, I guess, <laughs> celebrity scene would be, of course, no uh, no game of Dark Crystal would be complete without the Crystal Castle. Open this at the same time which is a gigantic four-page beast, which doesn't even fit on this camera. <laughs> uh, so this is like everything that's in the Crystal Castle, uh, notes on the Skeksis, how to sort of escape from the guards, what happens if you're captured, what happens uh, if you like go there during uh, big sort of finale scenes. And yeah, the Crystal Castle is like this huge dominating uh, part of the whole game. Um, like. And I think with the foldouts, like the Crystal Castle especially had to be a double foldout for a couple of reasons, but we think it's really important that when you're running as a GM, like you need to, yeah, you, you're kind of just freestyling, you know, what, what's going on, but you don't want to be like flicking backwards and forwards to between pages because the paragraphs are spread over the pages and then your adventurers are like, oh, I go over here. Okay, well, quick flip a page. like. Um, but there are some scenes which were just so big that we were like, how do we, how do we fit the Crystal Castle onto a two-page spread? And the answer is, you don't. You just cheat. You make the page wider. Um, yeah. So Stone in the Wood, the uh, the capital of the Endless Forest, where the uh, Stonewood Gelflings live, that had to be a two-page spread as well because that's the heart of the revolution. There's a lot of politics going on there. A lot of uh, shady characters with hoods in bars <laughs> giving. Uh, oh. Got the, uh, That's a, a hot secret there. Yeah, oh, this is a good one as well. Yeah, yeah. you've got the uh, the Vlista Stabber, which is the uh, Great Grotten Tree, uh, and sort of an entrance into the uh, the Caves of Grot, which of course. Uh, but then the, the tree is another tree upside down on the other side. So you, so you've got like that, and something we really enjoy doing, and the foldout pages do a lot of this as well, is that. It's a really fun treat for the players when you fold out a page. It's very intimidating. It's like, oh, this place is big because physically the book is big. And with this scene, when they pass through from here to here, you turn the book upside down and it's this kind of physical, almost a joke. In it's that. kind of a, a, a meta it's kind of um, trick. Can we just quickly show off Mithra? Because Mithra yeah. is one of my, like... Mithra comes in in like the uh, one of the later comics. It's set way after the Dark Crystal movie. Um, and they have this apocalypse known as the Dimming. Um, and they, they are also linked to the crystal. And it's Thra's um, kind of, it's a hidden sun that no one on the surface knows about at the core of Thra. And they live in the molten core. And there are firelings who are, they're gelflings, but they're on fire all the time. Um, but they don't mind. And it, it's, um, yeah, I think it's a really cool place. And it was really 
um, it meant a lot to me to put it there, even though it's very hard to get to, like in the canon of the game, you have to kind mm. of, you go into, there's a couple of entrances hidden in grot or sort of very dangerous kind of ways of getting into it. Um, and even though it's somewhere where your party may not ever go, because it existed, I want I wanted it to be there so that the GM knows it's there, so that the GM can draw on it. And maybe, I mean, you never know where an adventure is going to, oh, sorry, we're showing up. We've moved on now. <laughs> um, so here we've got uh, some of our fancy transparent pages that can be used for these uh, this puzzle section. Um, so you've got like what you can show the uh, the party. Yeah, and so this is the, uh, the this is kind of a ruined temple. And then overlaid is like like secret passages. How will the statues interact and where the secret doors are and uh, that sort of thing. So that was a lot of fun to uh, to write. Um, Then you've got sort of special scenes like the darkening, which is lesser location, more a thing that's happening in the world. Uh, Return to Thra. So this is a really fun little uh, thing. If uh, if a character dies um, for any reason, they return to Thra. You hold a quick. in games at a funeral for them, tell some stories about that character. And then uh, when they're rolling up a new character, they have these special options. So you sort of get, you could play a Fireling, you could play a Podling, you could play um, an Arathim. Yeah, so the starting characters are all Gelfling Gelfling. from the various tribes. Um, And that's sort of how you you start out. You set out as a band of Gelfling, but then when you create a replacement character, you kind of unlock secret or your players will unlock secret hidden options to play as a podling or to play as an arathim or a fireling for example from mithra my favorite place in thra <laughs> and the whole thing is chock full of awesome work by um brian froud iris compier and of course chris caesar that's me that's uh, my name and then at the back we've got this gallery section so you can just sort of soak in what the dark crystal world is and how it uh, how it feels to just sort of the artistry on the that. like the, the costuming like I just the it's absolutely so in depth to just look at those super high res photos and be like wow that's like someone made all these tiny hats with bells on <laughs> and then finally we have Jen Kira and Fizzgig the original uh, trio of the dark crystal and a little bookmark for all your references, how to uh, remember how experience works, and how tests work. So, that's Dark Crystal, the adventure game. Uh, it's available for pre-order now. Where? But, uh, on our website, riverhorsegames.com. Uh, for how long? Until Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. So... Three or four more days from when this video came out. Or if you're watching this video in the future, Maybe it's out now. 